Hello everyone, I'm Nita Hone, and it is that wonderful time again, limited review week. Ever since Magic Origins, I've done a week of limited review content every time a new set comes out, and Ether Revolt was just fully spoiled today, as you probably know. Every day from now until the pre-release, there will be a new video about my initial impressions of the format, including, among other things, a discussion of my picks for the best commons and, every, and uncommons in every color, as well as in the artifacts, as well as an archetype guide. Today we are starting with a discussion of the best white commons and uncommons. The usual disclaimer that goes along with these types of videos is that these are my initial impressions of the format. Like all of you, I haven't had a chance to actually play with the cards yet, and these picks are based on my experience of drafting a lot over a long period of time. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. At number 3, I have Dawn Feather Eagle. Certainly not an incredible card, but white is not super deep at common. That said, it is pretty solid. For 5 mana, you get a 3-3 flyer. Only about 1 more mana than you'd be willing to pay normally for a 3-3 flyer. But its Into the Battlefield ability is very relevant. The ability to go wide will still exist in Ether Revolt drafts, but it is worth noting there is no card with Fabricate in all of Ether Revolt. You can still get Fabricate in Kaladesh. And Dawn Feather Eagle goes great in any deck that is capable of going wide. Even in a deck without a go-wide sub-theme, though, Dawn Feather Eagle will usually allow for some favorable attacks while also allowing you to block in your opponent's backswing. All that said, I don't see myself wanting to pick up a Dawn Feather Eagle until somewhere around the middle of the pack at the earliest. It has the big downside of not being all that good unless you already have something going on on your board, and that sort of can, can hamper how good a card can actually be. At number two, I have Countless Gears Renegade. A fail case of being a 2-2 two -two for two is fine, and in the later part of the game, it isn't going to be very hard to get this dwarf to come with a servo. White has countless ways of triggering revolt, something that I will discuss in more detail once I get to my archetype guide, and in a typical game of magic anyway, permanents leave the battlefield all the time. Basically, the Renegade is nice because it is good if you're just trying to curve out and play a 2-drop, and great if you can get it to come with a servo at any point in the game. While I would take this a little earlier than Dawn Feather Eagle because it is lower on the curve and having two drops seems pretty important in this format, I most definitely would not take a Countless Gears Renegade super early in a pack either. However, the number one common in white is most certainly first pickable, and that is Caught in the Brights. I really love this card and would be happy to first pick it. Like Revoke Privileges in Kaladesh, it does suffer from the problem that aura-based removal... Uh, can be bounced, can, can be removed by a creature being bounced or blinked, which there's a lot of, and there's also just enchantment based removal running around. But despite those downsides, Caught in the Brights is still a pacifism effect with upside, and that's still going to be very good. While the line of text about a vehicle attacking doesn't seem to be incredibly relevant, sometimes you do get stuck having to pacifism a large creature who also has a problematic activated or static ability, in which case you really need to get rid of it anyway, and Caught in the Brights offers you that. So white isn't super deep at common in Ether Revolt, but let's see how it's looking at uncommon. I think that the third best uncommon is Airdrop Aeronauts. 5 mana 4-3 flyers are frequently playable even if they are vanilla, but this one comes with upside. You get to gain 5 life if you can trigger Revolt. If you ever had the fortune to play with Arbor Backstomper or misfortune to play against Arbor Backstomper in Kaladesh drafts, you know that gaining 5 life and playing a relevant creature is a very big deal. Again, triggering Revolt is actually going to be fairly simple, especially for white, and especially by the time you're playing a 5-drop, so it won't be too difficult to gain the life. Any card that can blink a creature with Revolt is going to be amazing as well, because it ensures that the Revolt trigger will just happen. Additionally, the Aeronauts are just fairly large flyers who quickly pressure your opponent's life total, and that's always something I'm interested in having. I don't think it would be wrong to take the Aeronauts around the 4th or 5th pick in a pack if white seems to be the direction you want to go in. I think the second best uncommon is Deadeye Harpooner. A 3-mana 2-2 certainly isn't great, but he is some pretty solid removal if you can trigger Revolt, being able to kill a tapped creature your opponent controls. This effect is often less powerful than it looks because your opponent has to be attacking with one of their better creatures for the value to be ideal instead of just getting to choose what gets destroyed, but the fact that the Harpooner can be blinked at instant speed by something like Aerial Re Maneuver makes it a whole lot better. Even in a vacuum, it's a solid card, even if you're not doing blinking shenanigans. And I would take it around the same place I would take the airdrop aeronauts. At number one, I have what I think is the best common, white common or uncommon in the format, and that is Thopter Arrest, which is a premium, premium removal spell. Thopter Arrest has the ability to exile either a creature or an artifact. And while there are plenty of ways to destroy enchantments in this format, Thopter Arrest does at least benefit from not being an aura, as that would make it even easier to get rid of. Thopter Arrest is eminently first pickable, and I envision a lot of drafts starting with someone picking a Thopter Arrest. Alright, that does it for the first video of Ether Revolt Limited Review Week. I will be back tomorrow with the best commons and uncommons in black. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click the like button. If you want to discuss some other candidates to make these lists, you can post them in the comments below. And if you want to make sure you catch the rest of my Ether Revolt limited review videos, don't forget to subscribe. 
Additionally, my content is sponsored in part by FiveColorCombo.com, a great website for all things magic. There you'll be able to find, among other things, an app that can help you practice drafts, including Ethervolt drafts in the near future. You can also find a store where you can use my discount code, NITZAHONE5, to get a 5% discount, so go check it out. Thanks for watching.